E-bike batteries, batteries for power tools, drones, scooters, heavy, clunky vehicle batteries. How do you transport them? How do you store them? Yes, these questions are complex, but have no fear. I've got answers. We unlock the lithium mystery today. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Xander from Zargus, and today we're talking about lithium batteries and the rules and regulations behind storage and transportation, which honestly is a challenge because there are many restrictions and the regulations constantly shift and change. So. Let's start from the beginning. We're often asked, what is the correct and legal way to store e-bike batteries? And are the rules different for drone batteries? What about power tools or entire vehicle batteries? First, the use type of a lithium battery is completely irrelevant. While the chemistries, capacities, and stored amount of energy may be different from an e-bike battery to a power tool or vehicle battery, regulators simply group them all into one category, lithium batteries. The same rules apply for all of them. Which simplifies things to some degree, right? Yeah, not so fast. The most important consideration when it comes to storage and transportation is the condition of your battery. Is the battery in perfect working order? Is it a commercially available serial product? If yes, then everything's relatively simple. However, with prototype and defective batteries, the rules and regulations behind storage and transportation become increasingly stringent. And for critically defective batteries, where a dangerous reaction could happen at any time, the strictest regulations apply. Quick side note here, if you're unsure of the condition of your battery, let's say it's recently been dropped or you notice some deformities, always treat that battery as critically defective. Best to be on the safe side. So now that we know condition is truly what matters, let's talk about storage. Currently, there are no explicit legal regulations for storage, but it is clear you should store them safely. Three things. Number one, they should be stored in a cool, dry environment. Number two, never store a bunch of lithium batteries together in the same location. And number three, most importantly, make sure to store your lithium batteries in a non-flammable area. The best solution? Use storage containers that are specifically designed for lithium batteries like the Sargus Battery Safe Universal Case, and store that case in a cool, dry environment. And as an added bonus, you can then also use the battery safe to transport your batteries responsibly. So let's dive into transportation. Here again, we make specific distinctions, this time between prototypes, which are safe for transportation, commercially available serial batteries tested in accordance with UN 38.3, then defective, critically defective, as well as batteries intended for recycling. Air travel. Transporting prototypes or commercially available serial batteries is possible on aircrafts within the framework of relevant regulations and provided that they're stored in a suitable container like the Sargus Battery Safe Universal Case. Air transportation of defective, critically defective, or batteries intended for recycling is generally prohibited. In other words, these are on the no-fly list. Road transportation. When transporting lithium batteries over the road, standard ADR dangerous goods regulations apply. Basically, you can transport all previously mentioned categories of lithium batteries over the road, provided specific requirements are met, including requirements for the vehicle, for the transportation personnel, and above all, for the fire-safe container housing those batteries. And as far as the container is concerned, we've got you covered with the Zargus Battery Safe Universal Case. Just make sure not to exceed the case's total weight, which is currently 65 kilograms or 143 pounds, which is a lot. Now, with over-the-road transportation of critically defective batteries, the fire test rating requirements for the cases are super strict and must be proven in elaborate fire tests conducted by third parties. As you would imagine, your battery's energy content in watt-hours plays a role here. The good news? Currently, the Sargus Battery Safe Universal Case has passed fire tests with nominal energy levels exceeding 1,000 watt-hours, which is impressive, and more tests are being conducted on a regular basis. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, do me a solid. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, 
Not only will you make me happy, but you'll stay in the loop on these important topics. Two clicks, endless knowledge. Finally, a quick disclaimer. The legal requirements behind storing and transporting lithium batteries are complicated and constantly change, so please don't misconstrue this video as any form of legal advice. Also, we're fully aware that every situation is different depending on your specific batteries. No worries, Sargus is here to help. In the description below, I'll provide links for further information and also the contact details of the Sargus Dangerous Goods experts. Whatever the situation with your battery, whatever the condition, whatever the use type, they will find a solution that meets your specific requirements. Many of the biggest auto brands trust in the Sargus Battery Safe Universal case, so you are in good hands too. Well, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm Xander from Sargus, and we'll see you again next time.